I'm Rob from Smart Boat Innovations. Thank you for joining me on this journey to transform your boat into a smart boat. Whether your boat is old or new, my goal with this channel is to help you into turning it into an incredible smart vessel. The best part is you don't need to be a tech whiz to achieve this. I've designed the content specifically for those with no technical background so everyone can benefit from it. In our previous videos, we successfully completed the assembly of our Raspberry Pi and installed Home Assistant. Moving forward, my plan involves avoiding the use of a keyboard and monitor directly connected to the Raspberry Pi. Instead, we can configure the system using a laptop, tablet or phone. These devices don't require physical connection, so we can easily connect to the Pi via Wi-Fi whenever configuration changes are needed. This approach allows us to install the compact Raspberry Pi in a remote location without need for cables, monitors and keyboards. For me, we don't have much space on the boat, so the less equipment, the better. We have a few possibilities for viewing the gauges and status information for our smart boat. One option is to mount a single tablet in the navigation area, providing a centralized display for all the essential data. Alternatively, we can mount multiple tablets placing one near the engine to showcase engine gauges and, say, another in the cockpit to display the boat's instrumentation. Or we can simply just use an unmounted tablet or phone, granting us flexibility in how we access the information. The beauty of our smart boat system is that it will notify us through onboard chimes or sirens whenever something requires our attention. This means we don't have to constantly keep our eyes on the gauges. The system will alert us when necessary. When we go ashore, we can rely on our phones with the Home Assistant companion app installed. This app enables us to monitor and control various aspects of our boat. Most importantly, it provides us with instant notification in case any problems arise, ensuring that we are promptly informed and can take appropriate actions. In this video, I'll guide you through the process of setting up the Home Assistant companion app on your phone or tablet. Rest assured, it's going to be a simple and straightforward experience. So let's get started. Okay, I'm on my Android phone and we're going to go to the Play Store and download Home Assistant. It's actually called Home Assistant Companion App, but they're just listed as Home Assistant. So we're doing install here. On your phone or your, or your tablet, you can just open up a browser and put in the, the Home Assistant IP address to access your Home Assistant. Um, but I find that the, the app is, has just a much nicer interface. So we'll download that and configure it. It's installed, it's open, continue. Now it's going to try and find your Home Assistant server. It might be able to do this. I have a couple of Raspberry Pis in my, on my boat here, so it's probably not going to find it too well. So we're going to enter the address manually. Now it tells you what type of addresses you can put in the home assistant.local. I'm actually going to use the IP address. It's just more likely going to work the first time. You can try home assistant.local with the port 8123. We have to put the port 8123 in. I covered how to find the IP address in a previous video, the 4G LTE router. Now we only have to do this once. After this, the, the app will save this address. Okay, then it comes in with a login screen. We log in with the credentials that we set up in the last video. Okay, now it's just asking us if we want to do location tracking. Let's just leave it off. Um, it's just in, it's quite clever. It can, it can track if your mobile phone is close to your boat or if you're away. But for the time being, let's, let's have it disabled. So here we have the front page or the front dashboard of the companion app, Home Assistant. Um, it just shows us basic information at the moment because we haven't set up anything. But on the top left hand corner you see the hamburger menu. Let's, let's click on that and expand it. And you'll see there's quite a few options here. One option I want to see, show you is if you go down to settings and press, click on that. Down the bottom there's a, an option called companion app. So let's go into there. And this shows the configuration for this actual this, the app that's on your phone. Uh, it shows that we have one server at the moment. Now when you have, uh, in the future, when you have 
uh, remote access and local access, you'll you'll have two servers in here. You'll have two little houses, one for the when you're accessing it locally, and the one when you're accessing it remotely. So if you click on the the one we have at the moment, it just expands. It says the server name, the device name that I'm accessing it with, and the the Home Assistant URL, which is the IP address we accessed Home Assistant with. So if you ever need to change this IP address or you need to, to reconfigure, you know, you just go into this setting in the companion app. Other changes you can make, but you don't need to. You can go into system and general. That's where we set up all the, the time zones. If you want to change that, you can change that. Or down into the network. Network here, you can actually change the host name. Instead of calling a home assistant, you can call it your boat name or whatever you like. But for the purposes of this, this these demos, this tutorial, we're going to leave it as home assistant. Then further on down, you have the, the network interfaces. You can actually set your IP address to be static here. You can set it to be static. And we'll do that in the future, but for the time being, let's leave it as automatic. Uh, static is, is a better option because at the moment, your router, every time you turn on, it's just going to dynamically allocate your the Raspberry Pi an IP address. But if you have a simple setup with a router and a Pi, it's not going to make any difference. Uh, for me, I usually set, set them as static because I have a, quite a few devices on board. So we'd leave it as automatic. And let's exit out of here. Um, you can create backups. It's, I mean, we haven't got any configuration, but once we start putting devices and, and configuring Home Assistant, it's, it's good to, to do a routine backup. You can have a look at your hardware. Okay, I have a Raspberry Pi 4. And it can tell you something about the process and memory, 8 gigabytes of memory. I mean, there's many more things you can explore in here if you like. In a future video, I'll show you how to set up remote access so you can use your phone while you're away from the boat. At the moment, we just have it set up for local access. Thank you for joining me today and exploring the incredible world of smart boating. If you found this video helpful and informative, I would appreciate if you hit the like button below. And if you'd like to stay updated with more exciting content on boating and technology, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking the subscribe button. Your support means a lot and helps me create more valuable videos like this. Until next time, hasta luego.